Good morning. I'm Anya Butov, Chief Revenue Officer at Beacon Platform, and I'm joined today by Ryo Shimizu, our Japan Country Manager and Head of our App Store and Partnerships. So we're here to talk about innovation. And at Beacon, we believe that the key to innovation is having the right platform. Now, a platform should make it easy for people to collaborate, to be creative, and to execute on their best ideas. And to make it easy, we believe that you have to remove some of these organizational silos between your people, but also between your systems. So we've designed the Beacon platform with this in mind. We want to make it easy for your people to work together, to come up with the best ideas, and then act on them very quickly. Now, we've been perfecting this platform design concept with the Beacon team over decades of experience at some of the most successful financial institutions in the world. So for today, let's imagine that we're on a trading floor, and I'm a salesperson, and uh, Rio is a quant. Hey, Rio, how you doing? Hey, good. Good. Uh, I've got a client who um, is thinking about an options hedging strategy on the S&P 500. Why don't we run some backtest results for him? Yeah, so I made a simple backtest route for that using Beacon. And so Beacon runs in the cloud, so let me launch it through a browser and then go into the strategy backtest wrap. And so on the bottom, you could see the, the code I've written to describe the, the strategy. And on the top, you have the backtested results. And on the right, you have metrics like sharp and max drawdown so that the clients could evaluate the strategy. Interesting. But what about this big drop in PNL I see here in 2015? What happened there? Yeah, I noticed that as well. So let's take a look at the, the plot of the back test and then compare it against the S&P time series. Um, it's the same uh, result of the back test and then overlaying it with the, the S&P. And so that's the day when S&P dropped 200 points. So that would explain the PNL. That explains it. Should we call the client, walk him through these results? Yeah, sounds good. So let's pause for just a second and talk about what you just saw. So you saw a salesperson and a quant work together seamlessly with Beacon. And you saw us use the platform to generate some backtest data in one application, pull up that same data in a different application, and overlay some supporting data on top. And it was all seamless. Now, without Beacon, Rio and I probably wouldn't even be talking to each other because he would be sitting in the research department on a different trading floor far away. And it would take him a week just to pull the data and the models together from a bunch of different databases and spreadsheets and try to figure out how to make it all work. But with Beacon, it was easy and it was fast. Now, we've shown just a couple of simple applications to start, but keep in mind that Beacon is a platform for people who want to build interactive and sophisticated applications. So just one other example here from a trading desk. So this application has a pricer for financial instruments, including derivatives. It's got a market data viewer, which can be updated in real time. And it's got hooks into other applications for trade booking and position management and risk management. And these are just some examples. Now, let's go back to the trading floor for a second. So, Rio, how long did it take you to write that app in Beacon? Uh, two days. Two days. So, can you show me how? Yeah, sure. So, Beacon has a full stack developer toolkit. Uh, you can see this on the right, um, and a integrated development environment that all of our uh, developers contribute source code into. So, it was just a matter of calling the library that our vault clients had written and then making it into an app. So if you can see other people's code and leverage their work, it's a bit like having an open source culture, but internally. Yeah, exactly. That way, we don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. So that makes a lot of sense. So say we have a great idea for an app, and let's call it Secret Sauce. Uh, how quickly can you just deploy that app so that we can start testing it out? Yeah, you want to see it? Yep. Yeah, so on the right, we have the apps page, right? And then so if we filter for the app called Secret Sauce, you see it's not there. And so let's go back to the IDE, and let's say I've written this cool app, and I want to publish it now. So I execute this script, and if I refresh the apps page, it's there. All right, F9, refresh, and it's there. Uh, what about controls? Yeah, so Beacon's got an integrated controls framework that's you know, built in and vetted by our controls group. Um, the idea here is that we should be able to prototype these apps and get it out sooner rather than later. And once the app becomes mission critical for the firm, then we could add more controls as necessary. And Beacon lets you do that. That's great. And what if we wanted to share this app with our clients? Yeah, so then we could even publish that uh, into the Beacon App Store so that the clients could install it. 
Got it. So the Beacon platform lets us write applications internally, and the App Store is an extension if we want to monetize some of our apps externally. Yep. That's great. So let's conclude just to summarize what, what we saw. So what you saw today was a salesperson and a quant working together seamlessly with a rich and a deep interaction, and that's because of Beacon. And now imagine the kind of interaction that you could facilitate at your company if you had the right platform between a portfolio manager and a salesperson or a financial advisor and a client or even a data scientist and your management. Yeah, at Beacon, we believe that the best ideas come out when you empower your people and lower the bar for experimentation. And that's what drives innovation. Um, and that, to do that, you have to have a platform that enables and nurtures such a culture. And we also believe that the best ideas should be acted on as soon as possible. And so that's why we have, um, uh, we make it easy for you to wrap those uh, services uh, into apps and services. And so as we've tried to show today, innovation isn't just about your technology. It's about the culture that you create around it. And it's about giving people a platform so that they can do their most creative and groundbreaking work. And with Beacon, we believe that we have this platform. So how you use it, it's up to you. Thank you.